Start recording. Hi, Capricorn. Dude, if you got your boots on or your shoes on, I think kicking them off would be a good idea. For this reading, particularly. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm gonna write that down before I forget. Just a second. Okay, so where should we start? I guess let's start with your notes. Happy Equinox, first and foremost. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for wanting to spend some time together and supporting yourself by being in this space and being reflective and kind to yourself that, you know, Well, that's interesting. It, it, there's some kind of reaffirming that even if everything doesn't make sense, say in this moment, right now is going to give you, or right now is for and is giving you, at very least, a place to sit and rest for a little while, you know? Um... There's also something about, I saw the number 44, uh, maybe you are 44, or there's an eight-year cycle. If you're already in the midst of something that you've began within the last eight years, where are you on that cycle? And then I see there's something about now forward. Uh, you know, this past year, yeah, I guess we're just going to have a little chat. This past year, in the Gregorian calendar anyway... 2024 is an 8. It's a Saturn number, which is your ruler. Uh, it's natural to you, but that doesn't mean that it's not tiring. Um, even the most patient, I'm seeing the most patient person. <laughs> so next year will be, next year we will be moving into a 9 year. That is different right nine sort of rolls back into one or right into zero and then we go again this reminds me of um, i'm seeing a serpentine <clears throat> i also saw lots of people gathering like a crowd sort of gathering and there were folks that were cheering there were cheery folks in that place um it's it's your kind of it's like your kind of tribe or your kind of folks were there and they're supporting you. I almost feel like you were on stage a little bit or at very least there was this, again, all these, this supportive energy all around you. It was sort of the, the stadium, if you will, or the space, the amphitheater was kind of like that where it was almost, it felt cylindrical versus a rectangle. Oh, that's still too hot. I wanna open up, is it this one? No, let's look at your moon card. Okay, this is a strong one. It's hard to say too. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 letters. It's the combination of Jupiter and Saturn. Some of you, that's important in your map, or you, you were born on that conjunction. That conjunction also happened, what was that, 2020, the end of 2020? I guess in relation to that and where you are, this floated out pretty nicely that you are safe and loved and protected. <clears throat> if you're unaware, this rune that we use as a sim as a symbol in this space is manas, and manas is is wunjo. It's joy twice, right? It's it's people coming together out of joy. It's understanding 
our, our place in the situation independently and then also how that very much connects together because really nothing can be done alone in the grand scheme, right? So, <clears throat> and actually, if we take this for the surface of, of this star, I don't even know if I want to say the star's name because it's kind of, um, you know how there are spells around words, right? Spell When you're spelling a word, you're spelling words, you're creating a spell. And um, I understand that it's not necessary to feed, I heard feed into the fire and fear, especially of society. <clears throat> so this card is about anger and greed and violence and things like that. And when we were being aware that this is here, but it didn't feel like our own. If there's any concern, again, you are safe and loved and protected. From anger, from deceit, from violence. Because on the positive, this represents energy that's in de that's self-reliant, right? And has a pretty strong ideal around, you know, like a perfect world to the positive side of this isn't idealistic. It's just, it's just sort of simple as the example of You know, there's enough food in the store, the grocery stores to feed everybody. You know, there's enough land, free land to plant gardens for everybody. Um, interesting. So this star represents the power to use spiritual fire. Pardon the slurp. I just was, wasn't was sure exactly how hot it was. All right. I don't want to sit with that too long. The, but something to consider. How do you use your power The power to use spiritual fire. So this is almost like someone is granted something. Something is, someone is, or I saw being ordained to do something. And it's like, yeah, someone's like knighted or, or. To use is also your sort of motto, to use or to build. So if you're granted the power, I guess everyone is, but particularly right now, you are granted the power to use spiritual fire. So how do you do that in ways of the using? Because that would mean that like I am using a, how are you doing that? I am using a screwdriver to do this. I am using this muscle. <clears throat> and I saw this math equation to do this. Oh, some of you, if you're doing physical things too now for, it might be a month, I'm seeing a month or two, your arms could be sore. This could be previous energies, um, maybe when you were younger, like a kid, teenager, school time. Um, so maybe there, there's strengthening needed, rest, and then when it's better, strengthening. And then I also saw someone like in the future as well, maybe this is a birthday goal or a New Year's resolution where someone's like, I want to make my body uh, more powerful. Um, not in an, I didn't see in, in an extreme way. It was just, I, I, 
right? Because when you get to know every little muscle and how much that, that muscle really holds in, right? It attaches to our bones, it, which creates our structure. So our muscles are really important. That's probably why Mars is exalted in Capricorn. All right, moving along. Uh, let's <laughs> let's look at your. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see. Capricorn. Someone likes PDA, someone doesn't like PDA. Someone likes public, someone someone likes the public or being in the public, doing, doing things in public. And some people are very private, like a homebody. Oh, interesting. I also see that... How do I explain this? Someone's not easily swayed by others right now. Like what pleases others, what's what's hot, what's um <laughs> I saw was popping like right now. <clears throat> popping popular. It's, it's someone's just like, no, I'm not gonna just I mean maybe someone tip tip their toes in to be like okay what's this all about like what's what's the deal here um but that which is unhealthy a person's like no i'm not i'm not gonna be swayed by that you know this could almost be peer pressure a little bit don't let the, don't I, well you have this card is don't let it in which is sort of looking at it's the p pleasure in the crowd so it's almost like I'm seeing the example of where someone tries to take like a very homebody private person and then they want to do like public ayahuasca in the middle of the park in the city or something. It's it feels it's too far from what a person really is. And so I guess don't let it in as expressing a boundary, but it could also feel as if someone's separated because they're like, well, this, all this, what is making everybody else happy is supposed to make, this is supposed to make, supposedly is making them happy. This is going to make me happy too if I do that. Okay. I saw the words peer pressure again. Just a minute. I guess it's hard to be an, an outcast in ways of... Like, why should it matter? Hold on. Let me try to explain what I saw. I saw a piece of paper and someone's hand. Like, they... Uh, this is strong Aquarian energy too. Because like this sword, there's a double-edged kind of energy where one of it is, I have to stand on my own regardless of society. Like, know who you are, right? As, or see, regardless of your family. Um, someone's pretty comfortable with their own company. And maybe that's why sometimes there, where there are big crowds, big crowds of people is, it's interesting because it's connective, but maybe, I, I wonder what the percentage is of in the crowd, how many people are actually don't enjoy their own company and that's why they're always buzzing and bizzing around, again, like in society. <laughs> 
It's an interesting conversation, Capricorn. Oh, yeah, we had the lots of people and cheering folks. You are a beautiful leader. I mean, I guess a good leader, a person that is pleasing to be around. <clears throat> right, this is the king here. It's the full expression of the lesson. Someone's cheering for a leader? Some okay, somebody figured out the rat race, too. I mean, this could be a bit of... I wrote down figuring out schedule... And then I wrote down downtown, um, but I meant downtime. And then there was a question, where does Neptune go? I mean, I guess this could also be an expression of what you've, what Capricorn's been learning a lot about. Uh, what's this, number 52? What's your favorite number? Or that a number that's been coming to you a lot? Because um, there could also be a fear where someone says, uh, I don't, I'm not going to be accepted in the group. Like, I'm not going to be, I, I'm not, I don't know how to feel connected in the group. So if the loneliness or the disconnectedness, I guess, is coming from that place, then you need to, a person needs to know that they don't need to let that shadow in. This could have been when you were rejected when you were little, a, a time that was like, I, I saw again and again. It's like you tried something, you, I heard got slashed down, tried something, and it happened again. It's like makes a person feel like they're, I don't know. Uh, don't knock that over, please. Let's see your next ones. Capricorn. Ooh, the portal. Wait, you're gonna knock that over, sugar. <gasps> I told you. Sorry, Capricorn. How jarring. <laughs> Whoopsie. Thanks, Ricky. I gave you three chances. We're not doing that again. Okay, the portal. It has a big old moon on it. Which is kind of... I'm seeing October 4th. And we have insight. So as we move into this next season and then lens... Oh, there's so many circles. Hold on. Where does, maybe this is where does Neptune go? This is the ocean back here. And then there's these old stairs going in this old wooden door, blue door. And it's almost as if you can make it across the ocean. But somehow or another, a person can only see this door or find this portal, if you will, if we have the, the lens of insight. <clears throat> the lens of insight. These are like 3D glasses, too. So something... It's almost like magic eye. <laughs> right, you have to unfocus to re 
focus and see beyond. You want to look beyond the painting. You know, look beyond what you can see. You almost look through it. Interesting. Yeah, so somebody doesn't have time, I heard, for society's um, external projected fear. A person doesn't have time for that. And that's maybe, again, this don't let that in. Some of you might want to watch, like, how much politics you're tapping into or just, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying, what's that saying? Chop wood, carrot, carrot, uh carry water chop wood so because you're looking through this for this portal so this seems very piscean i like when you become Oh, I just keep seeing soft moss. So, no, we're not playing this game again. So we had the king, now we have the queen. <clears throat> we move from 52 to 30. Uh, 52 to 23. What's in between there? The sun, the moon, the eclipses as we move through. Beep. Beep. Thanks. Good boy. It's not, it's not dinner time yet. So yeah, you can see something that other people can't. This is within you and within the world. Don't worry about whether people understand you or not. I don't think you do. Again, that's part of the lesson you've been learning, right? is I'm not going to bother over explaining something. I love the way Sam carries. Yeah, because you'd want to be listening. Insight is, is hearing and feeling. Can I have buggies? There you go. So very intuitive in this time. Again, Neptune, the moon. <clears throat> Very psychic ability. Who's who's the most psychic person you know? And what are your what are your abilities? I mean, some of you obviously can divine in some way. You have the power of divination. Whether they come through your dreams, it may not be so all, always so. I heard literal just written down on the paper, but. Hmm. I guess let's move forward. Oh, yeah. Time. Adorn. Beautiful. Adorn. Progress. Great. And the blue card. Interesting. Hold on. Some of you are afraid of being seen, but you sparkle. 
you're bright. Like the you you can't hide your light. And sure, I, I I saw some sometimes the light is from the sun, right? It, sometimes the light's from the moon. Okay, please don't scratch that. Something really beautiful has been being made. There's great progress with that. Someone also adores your process. Yeah, it, it, they're so comfortable. Like people, people, it's so comfortable to, I'm seeing someone sitting with you. Wait, it's Mona. She's a little cattle dog. Hold on. She's so freaking cute. It's awesome to watch things grow, right? <clears throat> I want you to be content with yourself. Constant stability. Yes, I want you to be content with yourself. I heard right here, right now. Just try to hold that in yourself. Oh, some of you are also here because you're Libra Sun. Or there's a Libra sun. Always wise to look at your squares and your exaltation. Right? How is that doing? Oh, I forgot to mention, but... <clears throat> this odd thing happened before your reading. I... I was soaking some containers and then I made myself some tea. And when I did, I noticed there was a pool under one of the containers and I was like, oh, there must be a crack in it. So, but I couldn't tell which is which. So I dried them both off, dried the counter, put them back down <clears throat> and waited. And I found the one that wasn't holding water and I just trashed it. I mean, I could have super glued it together and maybe put some buttons in it, but I have what I need, it's it's fine, I can, again, recycle it. Um, and then when I made a cup of tea, there must have been a hairline crack and that hot water just expanded it. And then that also didn't hold water. So, and that's fine. It's like, someone's not tripping about that either. You know, it's like, cool, I have another one, or cool, can I fix that? <clears throat> Do I want to fix that? <clears throat> Do I need to fix that? And it's it's fine. So you're getting rid of things again that don't hold water. Because you want emo someone wants emotional insight. They they want maybe like phil philosophical conversations. It's this is could be deep conversations into the night again things that are inspiring or and again if this is your reading this is how people feel about you capricorn you're insightful you you it, it's beautiful to see the world through this different lens you know through different eyes through this different lens um it's not trying to be an outcast about it though you know, this difference, if you will. Also, with Venus in, uh, in the position that it is now, adorning the home, perhaps yourself, um, 
you know, maybe you want to clean all your jewelry. Uh, or I saw someone pressing, pressing their clothes. Just being very intentional. There's also flowers in the house would be helpful. I do feel like someone needs to get out of the house if they've been in too long. Like they need to date this pleasure energy. They need to be around, right? Introverted people actually gain energy by being around other people. But they can't do too much of it because then it's draining, right? And the reverse. And again, I see someone that's definitely more of a homebody. There's something about a wooden door too. Maybe it's like an old barn door. Sagittarius, your neighbor. I feel like talked about the field. That's something as well. The moon and the f moonlight in the field. It's a full moon too. Hmm. I guess that kind of went, that, that went quiet, so. I suppose that's the end for now. All right. Thanks for being here, Capricorn. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. It's almost your birthday, right? Pretty much. What is it, nine months or thereabouts since your birthday? So you're in a you're in where something now becomes a different shape. You can see it. You can see something that's only been within. Just, I guess, be easy with that over the next little bit. Like, you don't, you don't have to, I heard, don't rush it, just love it. And if you notice yourself nervous, chattering, or not taking breaks for some reason, or people like this, try, try to just put yourself as much as you can back into your own body. Like, ground, ground that energy. No, Ricky. Stay there, please. And this will give maybe more of the direction of where the mood is coming from or needs to go. All right. And please remember that you are safe and loved and protected. Okay.